or that has to be done and they know that can be done and by supporting these other SAPs they can achieve that and salve their conscience. I call the Honourable Member Mike Saban. Thank you Mr Chairman. Uh, pleasure to take a call on this uh, very important bill and uh, reflect on uh, my time as a former police officer uh, Mr Speaker and the difficulties that uh, alcohol has presented in communities across uh, New Zealand. Uh, at the outset, Mr Chairman, I would like to uh, make it clear that my view was uh, that the uh, purchase age uh, for alcohol should be uh, 20 years of age, uh, and I have um, what I believe to be very uh, well-founded uh, reasons for that. But be that as it may, uh, it's clear that this bill has a number of other interventions uh, which will go to restrict uh, access uh, of alcohol uh, in particular to young people and provide better tools for our community uh, and uh, go uh, to our, towards our goal uh, of reducing the harm that alcohol causes. Uh, on that point, it's important to note that while I believe that a purchase age of 20 was important, it, it is not the panacea uh, and there are many other provisions in this bill that I think uh, uh, will make an important difference. And I want to speak to one of those uh, Mr Chairman, that uh, is contained within section 224 that relates to express consent uh, of uh, a parent uh, for a minor uh, uh, consuming alcohol. And if we think of the scenario, uh, Mr Chair, uh, of a uh, gathering of some young people and a responsible parent uh, sends their child off, uh, um, uh, having invested in the uh, uh, child's uh, understanding of the implications of alcohol abuse and so on, uh, to go to a party where alcohol is uh, provided and is flowing, uh, flowing uh, freely, where alcohol super, uh, the supervision of those youngsters drinking alcohol is poor, and before the night is out, um, uh, the young person is in a situation uh, that is out of control, uh, and where adults in that environment indeed uh, become powerless, as do uh, the police when eventually, uh, all too often, uh, they are called to intervene. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, this uh, provision allows uh, better tools uh, for responsible parents uh, to um, ensure that their children are uh, treated with the same uh, level of responsibility uh, by those who would be supervising them. Uh, so, Mr Chairman, uh, this provision will ensure uh, that uh, parents uh, that are hosting uh, young children or supplying uh, um, eight, uh, those under the age of 18 with alcohol uh, must do that with the express consent of uh, the parent of that child. That in itself uh, provides a meaningful tool, but the uh, uh, provision will go on, uh, Mr Chairman, to ensure uh, that the parents uh, not only uh, uh, re receive that express consent, uh, but also ensure uh, that they are actually in supervision of the young people uh, so that they can't uh, just go uh, out of control. Uh, that in itself uh, will help to uh, limit uh, parties which will quickly mushroom from a few individuals uh, enjoying a social occasion uh, to hundreds of people sp uh, sprawling out across uh, the neighbourhood um, and a situation that is very, very difficult to contain. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, uh, this provision will also go on to, to require that the alcohol uh, is provided um, in, a manner, uh, uh, in a responsible manner. And I want to uh, uh, read specifically uh, what that would entail. In my view, it's something that a responsible parent would do um, as a matter of their role as a parent. Uh, but unfortunately they're being let down by those um, who don't take uh, that uh, caution, uh, a position that will no longer be um, uh, acceptable uh, with this bill. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, let, let me read uh, specifically. So the, the, the parent concerned, uh, so taking a, a account of their supervision, uh, must take into account of the following. Uh, the steps taken uh, by the supplier to supervise and, and uh, uh, the consumption of alcohol, whether food was provided with the alcohol, whether a choice of low alcohol and non-alcoholic beverages 
uh, or both were offered, uh, the nature of the occasion, any arrangements for or provision of safe transport, uh, the period over which the alcohol was supplied, uh, the strength and volume of the alcohol supplied, the age of the minor, and anything else uh, that the court, uh, were it the case, uh, needed to. Mr Chair. Mike Saban. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, so uh, in essence what this uh, provision allows for is the ability uh, for um, uh, some more stringent guidelines around uh, re the responsibility required when young people are supplied uh, with alcohol and uh, some fairly clear guidelines uh, for the court uh, to uh, make a, a balanced decision as to whether or not uh, the parents responsible have actually carried out uh, a degree of responsibility in uh, the manner in which uh, the alcohol has been supplied. Uh, Mr Chairman, the, as I mentioned, one of the challenges uh, with uh, um, the consumption of alcohol in New Zealand uh, has been the purchase age. And it's fair to say that outside of uh, licensed premises, uh, where alcohol is provided uh, in a private context uh, to often uh, people considerably younger uh, than 18 years of age, uh, that many of the problems, certainly that I witnessed as a police officer, were present. And, uh, Mr Chairman, the ability uh, now for responsible parents to know that that child uh, goes off uh, with express, uh, their express consent uh, or not, as the case may be, and that the parent receiving them uh, must uh, acknowledge and, and establish that platform, uh, I think, Mr Chairman, is a very prudent and responsible uh, tool uh, that parents will gladly uh, utilise uh, in their struggles uh, in, a, in, a, in a culture, uh, Mr Chairman, that has uh, been a sad reflection on uh, uh, many of us in society in terms of binge drinking. Uh, Mr uh, Chairman, I believe that this provision uh, goes to the heart of what uh, many uh, features in this bill are about, and that is about restricting access to alcohol and ensuring that there is uh, uh, more accountability uh, and greater accountability uh, in areas that matter. There is no one uh, uh, provision within this bill. In fact, there is no one activity that we as a community could take on that is going to uh, solve this issue. Uh, more so, it's my belief, uh, Mr Chairman, uh, that it is a, a combination of a number of different uh, instruments as well as an acceptance from all of us, whether it be parliamentarians, uh, police officers, school teachers uh, or indeed young people, uh, that uh, uh, taking on a sense of personal responsibility, taking on a, uh, uh, an understanding of the consequences of the behaviour uh, of all of us and the examples that we set uh, is all part of what needs to happen. Uh, Mr Chairman, uh, this particular provision I certainly support. I support the SOPs uh, which make minor amendments uh, uh, to this uh, particular uh, section within the bill. Uh, it's my hope uh, that uh, from this exercise uh, over the uh, uh, many months that this has been uh, in, in the discussion, that we as New Zealanders uh, take on an understanding and take on a little of the responsibility that we all must if we're going to address the problems uh, that alcohol has caused in our country. And uh, uh, Mr uh, Speaker, I'm very happy and commend uh, this section uh, of the bill to the House. I call uh, Charles Cheval. Uh, thank you, Mr Chairman. Mr Chairman, I'd like to make a contribution at this stage in the debate.